Good morning, SK, and welcome to another episode of WTV. I'm Leigh Hannon, and she's Tehani Lafoto. That open was of our soon-to-be graduates rehearsing for graduation earlier today. Speaking of graduation, here's a quick video of how you can watch from home. Do you want to watch your favorite seniors leave South and earn their diploma that they've worked so hard for? If you so happen to not be able to go to graduation, well, we are here to inform you on where you can do just that from the comfort of your home. One option is going online to the South Kitsap School District homepage and clicking on the YouTube button to watch the live stream. Option two is going to the Wave Cable Channel 205 to watch Grad Night on SKTV. Graduation is live from the Tacoma Dome on June 11th at 7 p.m. It is the perfect opportunity to watch your fellow upperclassmen take their last steps in their career for SK. You can still watch the graduates even if you can't be there. If you are signed up for an AP or IB class for school next year, listen up for your summer homework. Next year's AP IB physics students should stop by room 219 this week to pick up summer assignment instructions. Spanish IB1 students, your summer assignment is to listen to Spanish and to choose a Hispanic telenovela and watch it in Spanish. If you have any questions, contact Senor Arcane in Portable 13. AP US History students, there will be important informational meetings in the library tomorrow at 2 p.m., Thursday at 7 a.m., and Friday at 7 a.m. You will only need to come to one of these meetings. And finally, next year's AP IB English students, please attend the meeting today after school in the library at 2.10 p.m. to get your summer homework if you haven't attended any of the meetings yet. Here's some more information about what the IB program is. IB teachers are supportive of IB students by constantly checking in with their students and making sure that not one student is too consumed by stress or work and they are always willing to have you come in after school to get help or meet with a group of students and get help and they always make sure to elaborate and go over projects and homework if you ask questions and IB teachers just really want their students to succeed. IB students create learning moments out in the community and here at South by creating new clubs and activities for other students to be involved in. Um, there have been many new clubs such as journalism that have taken place here at South um, with the help of new uh, IB students getting involved in their communities. Interested in joining? Talk to your counselor or Mrs. Duchesne in the library about the benefits of IB. IB offers a lot for its students. Track and field athletes, please pick up your certificate and pictures from Mrs. Mueller in the athletics office. And all athletes, if you missed your banquet and haven't received your certificate yet, please go to the athletics office to pick it up. All students, if you have an elevator key checked out that you no longer need, please return it to Ms. Pence in the main office as soon as possible. There will be a $10 fine if you do not return it by the last day of school. There are 100 additional yearbooks that can be purchased if you haven't purchased one yet. You can buy them at the ASB office and you'll be given an autograph page insert. Now heading into clubs, green team will be meeting today and tomorrow CAD will meet. As our water polo seniors are graduating, they have some advice for underclassmen for their high school career. South has a variety of after school activities to choose from. Some seniors from the water polo teams have one final message. Do underclassmen join anything you are slightly interested in because you never know what's going to be fun or not fun. Find something you enjoy to do. High school is a whole lot easier if you have a goal. Have something to work for. Water polo is just one of many sport team options here at South in need of players next year. It's where you'll meet probably your closest friends. I mean sports teams are always very unified and they're close-knit communities part of the team and being able to lead the team as captain has really helped me make new friends. It gave me people that I could turn to when I needed them and it has given me guys to hang out with and have a good time. I'm homeschooled so I don't really get to hang out with kids or see them passing through the hallways and stuff. So in the 2019 and 2020 school year try something new and get out of your comfort zone. You might just find a new passion or even make some great friends. Amazing. Joy. Family. Community. <laughs> Unforgettable. Try to get out and be a part of your school. Monday, the International Lunch Live will be serving nachos. Come have a great lunch on your last full day and there will be breakfast served on Tuesday morning. There are so many talented students here at South, but let's take a look at one who has recently achieved greatness at the state level. 
There are so many great programs here at South, but one you may not know about is CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design, but there's much more beyond the surface. If you haven't heard, a few of our students have recently competed at the state competition. Aaron Anderson, one out of two competitors from our school, came away with a win and will be traveling to the national competition in Louisville, Kentucky at the end of June. Having grown up with a father involved in CAD, she had access to these programs from a young age. I always found like CAD fun and just a way to make things I really enjoy. And then when I got to high school, I had an opportunity to try out the classes since I'd never done it before. And I found it really interesting, like making your own houses kind of thing. Being able to bring her creations to life has always been an important part of her success in the program. But this is not just a hobby for her. Um, I want to do Running Start in Olympic College and try to get my two-year degree in mechanical engineering and then move on to WSU for the Connected program. All of her success does not just come easily as she spends a few hours every day working on her designs. It is often thought that STEM is a program for men only, but with her accomplishments, she is proving this assertion wrong. Well, like, they're completely wrong. Like, anyone can do STEM if they really want to and they find it interesting or fun. Because, like, I was grew up thinking that anyone can do anything they want, and that's just what I did. Erin's journey to success is just getting started, so good luck to her as she heads to nationals. Congratulations to Erin and good luck at nationals. If you're in commercial photography first semester and had photos entered in the photo contest, please pick them up from room 178A before tomorrow. On Thursday, they will be recycled if not collected. Trophy Lake Golf Club and Casting Club is in Port Orchard is currently hiring for the summer. They are hiring people to mow the lawn and do landscaping. If you are interested, all positions are posted online. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, SK. See you later, SK, and make sure to stay around for the quote of the week.